<clears throat> All right, what I have is a polynomial to the fourth degree with I have two factors that the book wants me to verify. So I know that um, I can verify my polynomial. Sorry, I can verify these are two factors of polynomials if they divide evenly into my function. I can also determine if they're going to be fact if they um, are factors if I determine what the zeros are. So the zeros of these would be um, five and four. And if I get f of five equals zero and f of four equals zero, then I also can verify these are both factors. But for practice, I am going to um, use synthetic division to, uh, to determine if these are factors or not. So remember synthetic division is, I'm gonna take my zero, which is k on the outside, and I'm just gonna take the coefficient of each term, make sure every term is represented, and it's also in there in descending order. Remember, if this is my factor, I take my zero and put that on the outside. So I represent the coefficients as one, negative, negative four, 15, 58, and negative 40. First thing I do is drop down my first number, which is a one. Five times one, then I multiply across. Five times one is five, which is one. Five times one is five, which gives me a negative 10. Five times negative 10 is a negative 50, which gives me now a uh, positive eight. Five times eight is 40, gives me a zero. Now, I've only taken one factor so far, and with that one factor, I've gotten a, a polynomial. Now, this polynomial is to the third degree. So, so far what I have is, I have, I could write x cubed plus x squared minus 10x plus eight times my other factor, which would be x minus five. I haven't talked, I haven't done anything with x plus four. So therefore I know since I still need to verify this is a factor, I can see if I can factor x plus four into this next polynomial. So I'm gonna do synthetic division again, but now I'm gonna use synthetic division with my other possible factor. So I'll use, now I'm gonna use my answer, one, one, negative 10, eight. One drops down to one, negative four times one is a negative four gives me a negative three. Negative four times negative three is a positive 12, which gives me a positive two. Negative four times two is a negative eight, therefore I get zero. So both times, when I use synthetic division, that's supposed to be a star, something like that. When I use synthetic division, I got zero as my remainder. So right now, I'm gonna write down my linear factors as x uh, minus 5 times x plus 4 times x squared minus 3x plus 2. For those of you that don't know, if my remainder is r, my next one is my constant, then my linear, then my squared terms. So these are just the coefficients for each one of those terms. You always want to work backwards. And these are all factors, so they equal 0. Um, and if I was to multiply all this together, I would get this original function. Now, can we factor this any further down? And yeah, you can. You can write that as x minus uh, 2 and x minus 1. So I still have my original two factors. But what I notice is now I have a set of four zeros and or four factors. So when I want to find all of my zeros, I set each and every one of these equal to zero. Therefore, when I add a five to both sides, x equals five, four, two, and one. So those are the list of all my zeros up there, and that's how you verify by using synthetic division.